We are right now as a civilization at a crossroad where the future fate of mankind is completely open. We still could end up in a world war, a global world war, which would lead to the extinction of civilization. The conflict right now, uh, which exists very clearly between the Atlantic sector, especially the United States and the European Union on the one side, and the BRICS countries which are going for the new Silk Road and the World Land Bridge, it has everything to do with the image of man. The old system of government, the idea of the nation-state system, the old idea of the nation-state system is now dead or it's ready to die at any moment. But what's actually happening with the BRICS function, what's the significance of the BRICS as an institutional approach, means that the old system of economy, of national economy, is dead. Because what's happened is that the nations are forming institutional structures, as in South America, for example, in the BRICS there, in India, and so forth. These are new institutions which have no consistency with the old traditional institutions of government. And what you're seeing in the BRICS relationship is actually the, the idea of a planetary system, and that's what's happening with what China is doing in terms of what they're doing on, on the moon. In other words, the, moon, the lunar operation by China is leading the way or marking the way to a new system on the planet. Now, therefore, we have to define the present from the standpoint of the future, because we already can see now what mankind will be capable of in the coming hundreds and thousands of years and that we are still in the embryonic phase of civilization and that, you know, we must become adult now. The nation-state system will have a reflection, but the reflection will be different. It will not be separate interests. It will be complementary interests, as we're seeing in the BRICS, for example. The world is ready for the complementary interest of a world no longer the competition of nation-states as such. It's over. But the, the essential function of nations, the, the human species, is going to be different than it ever was before. Report, uh, the title of which is The New Silk Road Becomes the World Land Bridge, is a very exciting, completely new platform for the cooperation among nations. And I think I'm not saying too much to promise you that in the very near future, every government and every parliament of the world will discuss this because this will be the item nobody can go around. It is a completely optimistic outline of how the world can get out of the present crisis and go into a completely new era of civilization. <laughs>